Here's Peter Lambert taking the field in a starting capacity. Not far in territory, obviously, to Peter. He's done it many times in the past. He was raised as a starter. Tommy John surgery a few years ago, but uh, healthy again and was doing a really nice job in that long haul capacity out of the bullpen. Swung on a miss. Good start for Lambert as he hits the strikeout on J.P. Crawford. Well, a great start for Peter. Come in and get a leadoff strikeout. Swung on a miss. Another strikeout for Lambert. So back to back. Challenged him with some good action again up and it's back to back punch outs for Lambert. I've heard that once or Ground twice. Ground ball to Tovar. He was shaded up the middle and it's a really nice start for Lambert and on pitch number 14 he has the third out. And Emerson Hancock getting the start. This will be his fourth start. One and two record of 7-9-8 ERA as well as last time out going six innings just two earned runs. This is on one hop to second drop and it's going to cost Jorge Polanco. Second air of the season for Polanco. But you know what? Give Toby a lot of credit playing the game as you should, not assuming, well, that's a routine out. And ball four, Matt draws another walk. He leads the club in that department. And now, after that error, you have two on, no one out. Elias Diaz hit into a double play as a pinch hitter in the opener. And this ball's lined to deep right field. Going back is really, and he's going to have to field it off the wall. One run is scored. McMahon, he's going to get a green light. He's going to come home. Two-run double for Elias Diaz. And the Rockies break on top. Rare so far in 2024. Just the third time this year that they've uh, scored here in the first inning where well, the other team hasn't. And it's a fastball away from Elias Diaz. And he crushes that. Dylan Moore angling back. He keeps carrying. Dylan Moore is on the track and he flags it down. But to Rayleigh. And he slips. He falls. He's able to get back up and make the catch. Well, quick recovery by Luke Rayleigh in right field. Grants, Polanco, and Moore in this inning. 2 1 pitch. Laced out towards the gap in right center field. It's a base hit. Ty France. He seeks extra bases into second base, standing up with a double. Now he has really made quality contact this year, to say the least. And he's able to handle this slider. Line out to right field and a base hit. France advances into third. A couple of firm knocks by the Mariners, and Polanco is aboard. Dylan Moore, the left fielder. And the air out to right. Bouchard drifting back. It's plenty deep. That brings home Ty France. It's a sack fly off the bat of Dylan Moore, and he is having himself quite the day here in Denver. Drives in the Mariners' first run. Oh, got him. 95. Oh. And that hit him on the hand. A fastball at 94 hits him on the hand. Zavala's a right-hand hitter coming up. On a line, out to left, and a base hit. Polanco is in. Rayleigh is held. Zappi Zavala's first hit in a Mariners uniform. Drives in a run and ties the game in the second. We have a 2-2 tie. Bases loaded. Here's J.P. Crawford. Deep drive. Out towards right center field. It's back and it bangs off the very top of the high wall. Rayleigh is in. Arias is right behind him. Zavala's pedal into the plate. It's a bases clearing triple. J.P. Crawford kicks high and away. Crawford's on his way home and scores easily. 6-2 Mariners on a wild pitch. Most of his playing time was against righties. On the ground, it splits the right side, and Luke Rayleigh is aboard. Which is for the second time, two out single. And Luke able to stay on a changeup. It's kind of running away from him, but he's able to hit it through the hole. So pretty good speed on the bases for the Mariners. Runner going. Oh, and academic is swinging a miss from Rojas. Fifth strikeout from Lambert. These starting pitchers, I look at these relievers. I'm glad I'm not playing. This seems tough. Harder than ever. Straight away center field. And then there are days like today where that kind of, kind of a sparse crowd. Swing and a miss. 96 elevated up and away to McMahon. Second strikeout for Emerson Hancock. Second time he's hit, 96. He's like, yeah, it's, it's a large, so it's a little small. Oh, go get it. Go get it, Emerson. Go get it. Oh, boy. He's got it. He got it. And everybody appears to be okay. Ty Francis catching up with an old friend. <laughs> and the Colorado bench like, what the hey just happened? Yeah, an error and a walk, and then the two-run double by Elias Diaz in the first inning. In the right field. And a base hit. How about a multi-hit game for Sebi Zavala? Two for two. Big bouncer up the middle with some eyes into center field. Zavala makes the turn. And cruises into third base. Cal Raleigh with a two out single. Mariners have him on the corners. Broken bat, little loop. And it's caught by Rogers, the second base, but the Mariners leave him on the corners. They take the lead to the bottom of the fourth. 
Here's Hancock in the line. The pitch swung on and popped to center. Hook comes Julio. Step and a half. Now a little bit to his right. Nice easy saunter. Pick up that out. Makes the easy catch. Polanco ranging to his left. Another bobble. And he's able to get it to first base in time. Route number two. Again on 3-2. Polanco. Chest high on the first to retire the side. Rockies make Hancock work a little bit more. Third on the team in hits. And right now the Rockies struggling each day as McMahon makes a terrific play. He had to find the baseball. He was on the track. He had to find the tarp. With that 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Didn't the changer. No curveball at 79 miles an hour. Up to left field, lashed. Jones can't get there. It's a three-hit night for Zebi Zavala. Stands up with a double. That'll bring up Julio Rodriguez. Let's see if this hangs up enough. It drops in. Cave can't get there. Zavala is able to score from third. Julio's got himself his second hit tonight. And the Mariners' seventh run. They extend the lead with two outs in the sixth inning. Cal Raleigh now. The DH is the next hitter. Helped it out to center field. It sends Cave racing back, turning around. It disappears. It's gone. A home run. Cal Raleigh straight away center field. His fifth of the season. And it's a 9-2 Mariners lead. That home run, number 7,500 in the history of the franchise but it's it's not it's not favoring what they're seeing so far swung on and missed Beeks gets the strike out on Polanco who as you saw flipped around to hit from the right side on five hits Rogers Tolia and Tolia makes a catch Dylan Moore's retired hard hit grounder and that will find its way into center field for Seattle that's a tough hop, and Tolia stays with it and gets the out at first. We'll stretch in Denver in the nightcap of a twin bill. The Rockies with work to do. This ball line to left for Bouchard, and cutting it off is Moore, but Bouchard is still going to get himself a double. Good base running from Sean Bouchard. Have you gotten to the bottom of that? Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. Two outs. Bolton set, kicks, and deals. Pitch. Swung on, popped it up. And short right center field. Julio taking charge, coming in to make the play. And that'll do it. No runs a hit. No errors, and a man left. Seven complete. I mean, he did everything. He's hitting the ball out of the ballpark, stealing bases like crazy. And the center. Will it get down? It will get down. Pinch it, base hit for Class A. Crawford first to third. The Mariners applying more pressure. Top of the eighth inning, and the Mariners have runners at first and third with one out. It'll bring up Cal Raleigh. Plenty deep out to center field. It brings home J.P. Crawford. It's a sack fly by Cal Raleigh. Productive night once again offensively. The aging in the nightcap. It's now the Mariners 10 and the Rockies 2. Three runs batted in. For Cal Raleigh here in game two of the doubleheader. As the sign from Zavala. Nice game by Sebi as well. The stretch. That's the ball game. A long day at the ballpark is capped off with a 10-2 win. And the Mariners win the series in Denver. So what they really needed was Emerson Hancock to come out and throw the ball well. Six strong innings from him. Just one earned run. Look at these guys. They're all really tired right now. They can't wait to get to the hotel and get some sleep.